So in this video, we are going to talk about a platform kung saan pwede natin kitain yung ganitong klaseng income na may kita sa ating screen. So this is a proof of payment na nanggaling doon sa platform or website na pag-uusapan natin in this video. So itong platform na to is nag offer sila ng typing job and at the same time, non-voice and very convenient. So pwede pwede mo itong gawin during your spare time. Kaya naman, if you want to know more, I just want you to stay tuned until the end para wala kayong ma-miss na kahit ng information. Mayroon tayong 200 pesos GCash giveaway sa bawat uploaded videos ko dito sa aking channel. Mag-like and comment ka lang at may chance kang manalo ng 100 pesos GCash. Two winners ang pipiliin natin through comment picker at ipopost natin ito sa susunod nating video upload. Simple lang, kaya mag-like, subscribe, turn on the notification bell at piliin ang all para more chances of winning. So yung platform na pag-uusapan natin in this video is Screeby. So Screeby guys is nag-offer sila ng transcript jobs or being a transcriber yung applyan nyo dito if you want to apply dito sa Screeby. So nandito tayo ngayon sa kanilang client's website kung saan may kita natin yung mga services na ino-offer nila sa kanilang mga client. So here they have four steps process for consistent results. So tila transcribe, review pinaproofread and quality check. So, all these jobs ay ginagawa dito sa Screeby. And I think each of them have different rates. Kaya, i-explore din natin yan mamaya. Kung gusto nyo i-check yung official website ni Screeby, I will just link it down below. And ngayon, magpaproceed na tayo on application process. And to get to know kung ano ba yung pwede natin gawin or yung job description dito sa Screeby. So, dito guys, sa Screeby is ang a-applyan ninyong trabaho is being a transcriber. I'm just going to highlight in important parts or important information na kailangan nating malaman. So, ang halaga po ng rates dito sa Scribe if you will work here is it varies from $5 per audio hour to $20 per audio hour. So, just to make it clear, hindi po hour yan na raw or during the time that you are working pero audio file hour po siya. So, kung yung audio file is tumatagal ng 2 hours, so, yun, babayaran ka ng as little as $10 kasi 2 hours siya. Meron din silang mga free automated transcript para mas maging madali sa'yo yung pag-transcribe yung Scribe. So, do not worry kasi Kasi hindi naman kayo magmamano-mano dahil meron nga silang automated transcript. Ang mga nakikita ko pa dito is meron silang promotion from a transcriber. You can be a reviewer, proofreader, and QC or quality check if you have a good performance. So, ayan. Um, makikita natin yung mga rates nila mamaya. And ang maganda pa dito is for each submission, your Scribe account will credited with appropriate dollar amount. Mangkuha mo na agad or papasok na agad sa Scribe account mo yung pay mo once na nakatapos ka ng isang project. Ang payment method nila dito sa Scribe is via PayPal. Of course, you can transfer your funds to your bank account and dito sa atin sa Pilipinas, you can transfer your PayPal money to your GCash account. Basta ililink mo lang yung GCash mo sa iyong PayPal account, you can uh, transfer it anytime. And what I like about Scribe is wala silang monthly commitments and no minimum withdrawal limits. So if you want to get your funds already, pwedeng pwede mo na siyang kunin kahit hindi pa ma-reach yung certain amount. Ang condition lang dito is yung payment is makukuha mo lang once a day. So for the reliability of this company, ang sabi nila dito is we have been in business since 2008 and nakapag-transcribe na sila ng more than 9 million minutes and meron na silang 79,000 customers and 50,000 certified transcribers till date. Oh, 79,000 yung customers nila. Kulang pa ng ilang oh, 29,000 kasi 50,000 pala yung certified transcribers nila. So apply na. <laughs> so ito na, isa sa mga very interesting topic to talk about is the requirement. Of course, kailangan mo ng laptop or desktop computer. If you're gonna ask me, pwede ba ang mobile phone? Sad to say, hindi po pwede. So, malamang sa malamang dahil yung mga software na kailangan gamitin for transcribing is kita gamitan ng OS 
which is Windows or Mac. So, yon, and I think it would be very convenient then if you were gonna use a proper office setup if you want to, you know, kung gusto mong magseryoso sa pagte-transcribe or pag work from home. If you're gonna use your mobile phone, I think that is very nakakangawit. <laughs> of course, one of the essential things to have is a headphone or earphone para mas accurate yung listening skills and then a verified PayPal account and then a broadband connection. So, wala naman sinabi dito na minimum speed. So, malamang baka data, pwede pa yan. Good comprehension of English and then ability to interpret conversation and ability to apply context and identify mistakes. So, yung skills na nire-require ni Scribi is more on English language and listening skills and conversation. Dapat ikaw yung isang tao na magaling makinig, hindi yung daldal ng daldal. Ay, <laughs> yun. So, dito lang naman sa part na to is ang sinasabi lang nila is you need to have a verified PayPal account para mas maging convenient yung inyong payouts. So here are the transcription process which is yun na yung pinakita ko sa inyo a while ago. The four-step process which is the raw transcription, review, proofreading, and quality check. So you can just check it out no yung mga steps. I will link down this website as well in the description box below. So dito kasi sa video is sinasummarize ko na lang. So for the payment, o oh, diba? Kasi alam ko, interesado kayo dito. Ang pinabayad nila is around $5 to $20. We pay by audio hour, not actual time spent working on it. As I said, audio hour. Just to make it clear. Kaya parang baka magulat kayo, ma-overwhelm kayo sa price. Wow! Kung mag-work pala ako ng 8 hours, makakaganto na ako. Hindi. So, nakabase po yan sa length ng inyong tinatranscribe. Okay. So, for the payment, 6-minute file. Therefore, yun nga, it may vary. 0.5 dollars per, you know, this 6-minute file. For the certification process, here are the following steps. You need to go through to get certified as a transcriber sa Scribi. Step 1 is mag-apply kayo or mag-sign up kayo as a transcriber. Meron silang link dito na ibibigay which is your sign up page. Sige nga, puntahan natin. So you have to fill out this form right here and then mag-sign up kayo for an account. And then for the next step is you need to have an email confirmation. I-confirm mo yung email na na-register mo. Check mo yung inbox mo. And then set up PayPal account. Agad-agad is magsiset up ka na dapat ng iyong PayPal account dito, which is a necessary requirement. And then next is test file submission. Isa sa mga downside ng pag apply sa isang transcription website or being a transcriber is meron na sila agad test. And karamihan ng test is very difficult. Pero if you have the ability, kaya mong pagsyagaan yan. Kasi hindi mo naman kailangan na magkaroon ka ng certain degree or experience para makapag apply dito, ang kailangan mo lang is i-prove mo sa sarili mo that you are able to do the task very well. And then for the step 5 is you can get certified already once na na-pass mo yung iyong test. Okay? So more on the test talaga pagbabasihan yung application kaya pagtsagaan nyo yung test. Okay? So hindi lang pala minsan ang maximum number of attempt is 10. Pag nakaabot na kayo ng 10, oh, sad to say, hindi ka na pwede mag-apply. So in this website, Website, you can actually see the transcription guidelines na kailangan mong aralin bago ka mag-take ng test. So, lahat naman dito sa Scribies, binibigay nila. Meron sila silang mga style suggestion and all. So, meron silang file dito or audio file that you can listen to and you can check out this sample transcribed file or text document dito sa page na ito. For more FAQs, you can definitely check it out here as well. Regarding sa PayPal, sa transcription test. Ayan, sa transcription test. Sabi naman dito, sa test is for an indefinite period. Wala naman time limit yung test nila. Hindi ko na ipapakita sa inyo yung mismong process, guys. Ha? Just to give respect na rin with Scribi, hindi ko dapat ipakita yung pagsasagot ko ng exam. Kasi baka kumopya kayo kasi tama yung mga sagot ko. <laughs> Yun, no? Ito, meron na silang mga terms and conditions as a service provider that you have to check out as well. So ngayon, reliable ba talaga si Scribi? Paano man nasabi na totoo yung mga sinasabi dito sa website nila? So, meron akong natagpuan na post 
dito sa Reddit. So, it is honest review regarding sa pag-work dito sa Scribi. Dito, very transparent na siya. Sinasabi na rin niya yung mga payments sa different variation ng kanilang mga job position. For transcription, it would be around $3 per hour. As a reviewer, it would be around $6 per hour. For proofreading jobs naman, it will be $8 to $10 per hour. And for quality check, dito na pumapatak yung $10 to $20 per hour. So, pinakamataas na position si Quality Check kasi sila yung tumitingin ng file or transcribed file before submitting it to the client. So, here we can actually see the pros and cons already. And ang maganda dito is there is no shortage of work. O, oh, ba? Ang ibig sabihin ba nito is marami silang binibigay na trabaho. Walang commitment. And then, walang minimum withdrawal limit. Although, uh, withdrawals under $30, meron silang charge. Yun lang naman ang condition doon. And then, they withdraw very quickly through PayPal. Hindi daw difficult itong job na ito. As long as that hindi ka slow typer. So, dapat kasi 60 words per minute is mapasama yan. If you want to test your typing speed, uh, you can definitely check out typingtest.com and here you will be able to have a test and uh, malalaman mo kung ilang words per minute so, ito yung isa sa pinakamagandang part na na-impress ako is you can progress to the high levels relatively quickly. It took me 5 days lang para maka-reach sa proof reading stage which is, I think this is the second to the last. $5 bonus for every 3 audio hours you complete a month. Ang ganda. Ang ganda ng mga offers dito kay Scribi. And then for the cons, ayan, lahat naman ng online job. Kahit online job pa yan, may cons yan. Okay, so if you do not complete the files to a high enough standard, you will be demoted. Yun nga lang, nagbababa sila. Okay? And cannot be re-promoted. So, dapat talaga galingan mo. And then, the rates of pay start of very low. Yun lang, mababa. Mababa muna. Kailangan magtsaga muna para makakuha ng mataas na pay. Sometimes, the audio quality is very bad. And although you are compensated more based on the difficulty. So, there is a $2 cap per file. So, yun pala. Pag medyo mahirap or complex yung audio file is, meron naman silang binibigay na mas mataas na rate. So, and then you get two hours to transcribe or review a file so you can't just pick all the easy ones and come back to them at a later date so those are the cons eto guys nagpresent ng payment proof etong nagpost sa reddit kaya masasabi natin na hindi lang siya yung nagpost para magkaroon ng pag-uusapan here you can definitely see na nakareceive siya ng 42.17 USD all the way to his PayPal account so if you are someone here in the Philippines you can definitely transfer it sa iyong Gcash para mas madali mo na siyang maggasto sa iyong pang Shopee. So yeah, there you go. That is all about Scribi. Kung paano mag-apply, anong gagawin if you got hired. And tell me what you think. Is it something na para sa'yo? Or balak mo bang mag-apply dito? Or hindi ba ito kabilib-bilib? For you. I want you to be honest there on the comment section below. And malay mo, isa ka sa manalo ng 100 pesos Gcash. Dalawa pong pipiliin natin winner via random comment picker. So yun na naman guys and thank you so much for watching this video. And kung na-enjoy nyo ito, give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. Click on the notification bell para ma-notify ka sa aking mga uploads. So, have a nice day. God bless and goodbye!